like uh, they have the saying uh take time to smell the flowers <laughs> for me i take time to smell the ferns <laughs> why not right so this is just a simple boston fern but uh, i i love it <laughs> okay so for today i'm going to share to you my experiences with these ferns <music> Hi mga garden, so this is Hardinerang Nanay once again. Welcome to our home, our garden. We believe that all plants grow with love. So, like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell for more home gardening tips and vlogs from Hardinerang Nanay. I am actually fascinated by ferns. Yes, anywhere I go, as long as, as I see a fern, oh my I just stop and you know take a look of, at it like uh, they have the saying uh, take time to smell the flowers <laughs> for me I take time to smell the ferns <laughs> why not right so this is just a simple Boston fern but uh, I, I love it <laughs> okay so for today I'm going to share to you my experiences with these ferns it's very beautiful i love it i love it i love these ones so for today i'm going to share to you how did it happen that this fern ay nabuhay sa aking garden sa aking mga kamay for two years <laughs> so dumami na sila so it was just a little uh, fern in a small container and then uh, for two years i had been maintaining them i hope I had been experimenting, observing, and study also um, what is the characteristic or what do ferns like. So, ano yung prefer nila na soil, light, and water. Okay? So, I also watch in YouTube. I also Google. So, <laughs> that's it. So, I apply to fern plant is just a tiny plant. Now, I can see that they have multiplied see <laughs> see almost a forest <laughs> right so i love it but before you know what i cannot uh you know i cannot i, I mean i cannot grow a fern <laughs> because maybe uh too much sunlight so nasusunog sila and then also um what's that underwatering so uh yun ang kalaban natin dito sa ferns na ito uh, underwatering so we have to uh, make sure that they are in a moist soil so one thing that i learned in taking care of these ferns is to adapt their uh, original environment right so from the mountains itself from the forest for example under the forest, there are a lot of ferns on the forest floor um, growing on the rocks. But the rocks are under a shade of uh, tall trees like that. And then also, if we can find yung mga ferns na tumutubo sa mga uh, the trees. Diba? So, they are in a canopy. Okay? So, mm, we will adapt that microclimate also. We make sure that they are living in a condition like in the forest. So, we will consider the light. So, as I said a while ago, that we are going to create a microclimate. So, when we adapt that environment from the forest, so in our garden also, we will create a microclimate. And, uh, this one, using the net or... Uh, plastic first and plastic uh, garden plastic first and then um, this uh, net so it creates a cooler environment another thing to create a microclimate is you know you put these ones in 
um, under the trees, under the big plants, it can be, okay? But mine is inside a greenhouse with the net. So, and they are also placed in an area wherein it's, uh, you know, mm, it is not actually reached by uh, the sunlight. It can be reached, but, uh, you know, by the sunlight, but uh, like 30 minutes only, like that, just like in the forest na konting araw lang, konting sinag ng araw lang ang kailangan nila pero buhay sila. But then do not put your ferns in the no low light condition. Okay, if you are making your uh, ferns as indoor plants you can do so as long as um, you put them in the low light not in the no light. Alright, so you understand that and then also when we consider the forest na kung saan sila galing ay we consider the humidity so yung humidity kasi kailangan uh, uh, mataas the higher the uh, the higher the humidity diba mas mas mataas yung moisture diba so yun ang kailangan nila so one thing to uh, you know to to maintain that uh, humidity that they want, uh, misting your ferns is okay. Every morning, you can do that, okay? Alright, so especially if it is indoors, okay? And then, it is good also if my uh, humidifier sa bahay, so it helps your plants also, your indoor plants, okay, to live in a good condition. I water my ferns once a week okay sometimes twice a week so it depends on the situation okay actually um wala namang problema sa pagdidilig sa ating mga ferns basta huwag lang underwatered huwag lang inconsistent watering okay so if you are planting your ferns na nakapaso you can put a uh, water with pebbles doon sa uh, plate and then you can uh, sit in your uh, nakapaso na ferns doon. Okay? Pero itong sa akin, uh, ganito siya. <laughs> ganito siya. Okay? So, I like it that way. Para mas, ma, mas nakikita ko siya na humahabang ganun, nakahanging na ganun. O, ba? So, that's it. So, ang fern talaga uh, para sa mga masisipag, magdilig ng halaman <laughs> o oh, ba? so let's propagate our ferns pagdating sa propagation ng ferns meron silang actually spores dito sa likod as ano yung spores nila walang flowers ang ano uh, ferns but they have spores yan asan na asan ba eto yan oh seeds nila yan so Actually, you can get these ones and then plant them, diba, in a, a good soil and then seal it with uh, plastic, actually. Pero yung propagation ni Hardiner ng nanay, ano, yung sa dito. Dito, asan na yun? Dito, tuloy-tuloy kasi yan eh. Asan na yung, um, see, wait, wait, tingnan natin ha. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ito. Ito. Ito, humahaba kasi yan. Humahaba kasi yan. Tapos nagkakaroon ng roots. Wait, tuloy-tuloy yan eh. Ito, tumod. Asa na yan? Masyado makita. Ayan, dire-diretsyo yan eh. So, ito yung mother plant. Tapos dire-diretsyo yan. Nagkakaroon siya ng ganito. Ayan. And then, o meron na naman tutubo dyan, and then so forth and so on. Kaya ito, uh, umiikot sila, eh, pinapiikot kong ganun. So, I, I just leave it that way para pag may susunod na plant ulit dyan, um, yung roots niya, it will be attached sa uh, soil. So, mas madali siyang ipropagate. Sige, titingnan natin. Dire-diretsyo to. So, for example, ito, since nasa gilid naman, bubunutin natin. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ko. Dire-diretsyo yan. O. Oh. O, oh, yan. Oh. Dire-diretsyo yan. And then, this one is connected to another plant. Okay? So, diretsyo yan. So, ito, o. Oh. Mahaba. O, oh, yan, o. Oh. 
Yan, mahaba yan, dire-diretso yan. So, pag dinidire-dire-diretso mo yan, meron pa ulit doon. So, ito connected na dito. So, uh, well, anong gagawin natin? I think we have to putol. Okay, putol natin ito. <laughs> Wait, need natin ng gunting. So, look at this, mga kardin. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, dire-diretso. Kasi, meron na naman dito. Ah, ba? Diba? So, if we are going to propagate, we have to cut it here. Okay? If you want, ganito na siya. And then, itanim mo na lang ganun. Okay, tara, magtatanim na tayo. Madali lang to. So, we are going to use this uh, soil mix for our foreign propagations. Since our aim is to adapt the original uh, environment for these ferns, we are going to use this ones. See, that is the dried leaves from the forest floor. Yes, this compost is directly from the forest floor. Actually, it composes of almost three leaves composted, and sometimes coffee leaves, and then, uh, yeah, ferns added there because um, that is actually the evidence that ferns do thrive in the forest floor actually you can buy this uh, compost composted leaves in plant shops nurseries orchidariums here in baguio and benguet okay this one helps a lot of farmers here we are using that also not only for ornamentals but other plants also so we have here also to maintain the moisture we are using the coco pit and then also we have the uh, cow manure na 20% na cow manure and then 20% na black soil. Yung cow manure na gagamitin natin dito is well composted. Okay, so we just have to mix. Yung pala, kung wala kayong composted alnos tree leaves, you can use actually the carbonized rice hull. Okay, just 20% of it and then um, mas malaking porsyento syempre yung uh, coco pit. And then that's it. So, we just have to water this one and we are almost done. Okay. So, for the fertilizer, I use the cow manure compost tea. You can also use verbicast compost tea like that to maintain. All right. That's all for today. Thank you for watching HN TV Baguio, our home, our garden. We believe that all plants grow with love. Do subscribe to Anug Kabasan Muan. God bless us all.